Thank you. It appears Rick Husband Amarillo International Airport is in for some more renovation. City commissioners today approved an item that could lead to the construction of a new service center for rental cars. Pro News 7's Marissa Lucero is here in the studio tonight with more on that story. Marissa? Well, Jay, right now there are four separate car rental facilities at the airport, and if you want to rent a vehicle, you have to walk quite a ways to find it before you can drive away in it. With the consolidation of the four facilities, rental cars will now be able are located right outside the west side doors. It's a $4.2 million project that's taken city officials a few years to approve, and now it's officially a go. Well, this is something we have been working on for quite a while. Uh, it was identified as a need back in the uh, early days of planning our big terminal project. And, of course, that was recently completed a couple years ago. The project is broken down into three phases. Aviation Director Pat Rhodes expects the final product to include this. And what we're doing is taking the four existing rent car service centers that have been around for probably 20, 25 years, and we're going to build a new consolidated center, move all the four rental cars into that, and then the, in the future project, we'll demolish the existing uh, facilities. Amarillo City Manager says the upfront funds for the project are already in place. It's a huge expense. Uh, the expense is borne by the airport fund. Uh, those are dedicated funds, dedicated revenues. They're generated at the airport, by the airport. They have to stay there by law. They have to be used there. Through a customer facility charge, the airport receives $3 for every lease day a car is rented. On average, the charge generates $612,000 a year, so Rose expects the project to pay for itself within seven. Part of the modernization, you know, we can't, um, you can't let the facilities deteriorate to where they can't use them and then build new ones, so you kind of got to stay ahead of, uh, of time, and uh, those facilities that are out there right now are uh, inefficient. Well, airport officials say they went through a series of bids for the project. The winning bid is going to the Southwest General Contractors, which the airport has used before. Jay, back to you.